let, let's talk about the draft we because you'd probably rather talk about the draft than uh, more Pittsburgh Nashville I feel like I feel like that's true I want to ask you whether okay. you, <laughs> I'm reading your mind um I feel like there's so much talk about picks in play and rumors about trading top picks you know and you, you got such a great sense of history for the game it does not happen anymore that teams flip anybody a top five pick the last top eight pick i can find that was traded elliot was was what turned out to be couturier in the uh in the columbus philly jeff carter yeah. trade the last top yeah. five pick that was moved was sagan with burke acquiring kessel the year but but you wouldn't have done that had you known you had the second overall so teams teams don't do this do they i i'm just really really skeptical a dallas a philly is really open for business with those picks or do you think they might be um, I, I do think they are in this particular case. Not even so much. Uh, I don't know about Philly. You know, Ron Hextall said it's more than likely he keeps the pick. Um, and I could see him doing that and then doing something else because he's got that pick. I, I can see Dallas moving it. Mm -hmm. I, I do think that's possible. And, you know, the one thing also, too, is I do wonder about New Jersey at number one. I, I think they would consider... Uh, moving down as long as they didn't move down that far. Um, you know, I, I do think there is a possibility that they will consider that. New Jersey, to me, at the top of the draft is really interesting. Um, they're an organization that really needs defensemen, uh, and there's a couple of really good ones here, but I don't know if they're going to take, take them number one. So uh, I'm really curious to see what they're going to do, and I, and I do think it's very legitimate that if Dallas got a defenseman that, that mattered, they would consider going out of three.